by now we already have the idea of different types of arrays integer float and character arrays and we already know that character array has another name that is string and we also know that how to declare and initialize a character array or string in today's class especially we will be learning about reading a string from the terminal or writing a string on the screen or terminal and before that we will also revise the concept of declaration and initialization of string so let's get started this is the syntax of declaration of a character array or string where we can see this is the type and definitely since it is a string so always this type of that variable will be char character then this is the string name and within brackets we as we declare the size of the array and then terminated by semicolon this is an example of a string where the actual length of the string is 10 or 10 bytes or 10 characters and as we know that for a string we assign one extra byte for null character so the final size of string will be for this particular string will be 11 so this is an example of declaring a string now the initialization part this is the format how we initialize a character array so again this is the declaration part where we have the type of the variable care and then this is the name this is the final size along with the size of the null character and then on the right side of this assignment operator within this curly braces and within double quotes we have mentioned the string name now here it is easy and then we have one space and then a to c so total length here is eight and since this is string again one extra byte for null character and that's why the final size of the string is 9 so this is one of the ways to initialize a string and this is another way and again the same string value or string constant we have used here that's why the size is same but what is the difference here the total string the whole string constant we mentioned within double quotes but here character by character we are mentioning or we are we are initializing with and that's why each character has been enclosed within single quote and between these two words the space that we have that that is also considered here as a characters and that's why the space is also enclosed here within single quote and the null character also is enclosed within single quote and the everything all the characters are put within curly braces and then terminated by semicolon the normal rule and this is another way how we can initialize a string and what is the difference with the first one here we are not mentioning the size of the string so how long it will be the string value string constant the total string constant here again we are mentioning here and it will calculate the length along with the null character and accordingly the size of that string variable that we have mentioned here that will be decided then this is another example and this is uh, same as the second example only difference is again here we are not mentioning the string size so how many characters we are assigning along with that null character to that string variable accordingly the size of that string variable or that string will be decided so that's how we declare and initialize a character array or string next is reading a string from terminal and this is the syntax of declaration so here the address is the string variable name and total size is 15 including the null character this is the syntax of scanf function that we are already familiar with this is the mostly used input function in c that we is used to scan or to read a uh, value from the terminal this is the syntax so within double quotes this is the format specifier and since this is string so percent s and then comma and then the variable name here only difference is before the variable name we don't need to mention any ampersand in case of string but for integer float we use for normal character also single byte character there also we use the ampersand before the variable name and that is the difference and here the scanf function automatically terminates the string that is read with the null character so we should be we should take care of that and one important point is the scanf function terminates its input the value the string that we are providing we are writing on the screen and we are providing to the program so if it finds any white space in that string so it will terminate there itself 
and it will not read the other characters uh, of that string if it has any and white space means it could be blank tabs uh, and all other forms that we know so in that case also we should be very careful then the question is then how to read a string that has space in between two words suppose if we take this example very and good and between these two words we have a single space here then if we want to take we want to accept this value if, if we write this value on the screen and from there if we want to read that string value from the terminal then how we can perform that for that this is the syntax so what we are doing here is we are taking two string variables string 1 and string 2 and then as usual the normal syntax of scanf but here within double quotes we are specifying two format specifier here the first percent s the first format specifier is linked with the first string so it will read the very part and the second format specifier is linked with the second string variable and that will read the good part so that's how we read a string from the terminal now we will learn that how to write a string to the screen so this is the normal printf function that we use for output this is the mostly used output function that we use in c that we know and this is the normal syntax so again within double quotes the specifier percent s is for string and then comma and then the variable name and terminate by semicolon so this is the normal syntax that we are already familiar with and now we will see other syntax of formatting so here what we can see here the initially it was percent s only so here we are not specifying that how much will be the width of that string but here we have some specific values it is 10.5 and rest of the things are same so here it is 10.5 now what 10.5 or 10 decimal point 5 decides after decimal point we have 5 so that 5 decides or that 5 tells that first 5 characters will be printed. So whatever value we have in that string variable only first 5 characters will be printed. And where it will be printed? In a field having width 10 columns. Now this is another format. And what is the difference? In the previous case we didn't have any sign. We didn't mention any sign. So by default it was positive. And in this case we are mentioning a negative sign. So this negative sign what it tells is actually first five characters will be printed of that string that we have in this string variable but here the difference is it will be printed left justified and in the previous case it will be printed right justified so as i said that the integer value on the right side of the decimal point specifies the number of characters to be printed now minus sign as i said that it will print left justified and one important point is if the field width that we mention if it is less than the length of the string as uh, we can see in the first example here we have mentioned only percent s so percent s means it is 1s but the length of the string could be of 10 characters 20 characters so if the length that we are mentioning in the format specified if it is less than the actual length or size of the string then the whole string will be printed so that point we should keep in mind so mostly we print the whole string and we only mention percent s so we don't bother but this is how it uh, actually happens and uh, if we are mentioning this type of uh, format specifier where we have decimal point and if we don't mention any length after decimal point if that length is zero then nothing will be printed now we are in a program where we have used many character arrays or strings having different lengths word 1 2 3 4 now we have declared another character array or string having different size and there itself we are initializing that array with uh, some value and this string constant is tom and then we have a single space and then jerry then we have a printf function that is printing a message that we can see on the screen and to enter the text so this is just uh, instruction for us and then we have three scanf functions through first scanf function we are reading the string value in place of word one for that uh, string variable and through second scanf function we are reading the string constant value for the second string uh, variable word two and then in this printf functions using this printf functions we are printing whatever value we have 
in this uh, string variables word one and word two so we are entering very and this good these two values and those two string constants are again getting printed we are writing to the screen to the terminal so as per the normal rule they are getting printed now come to the third scan kind of function so what we are doing here is in the third scan kind of function as you can see we have used two string variables separated by comma word 3 and word 4 and accordingly we have used two format specifier so on the terminal when we will be we will be entering this or we will be typing this value easy e2c so between easy and e2c there is a space so what will happen is the program will start reading the string constant that we have written on the terminal so it will it will read the easy part and then it will find a space so it will stop reading there and this much value easy that will be stored in this uh, string variable word 3 and then after that it will start reading afresh so this time it will read e2c and after that again there is a space so this will read only this much e2c and that will be stored in this string variable word 4 and then you see very carefully that how we are printing both the parts together having space in between here through this printf function again we are using both the strings we have to because they have their each value easy and e to c and accordingly we are using the format specifier and here between these two format specifier we have a single space so that single space will decide that between the values that this word 3 and word 4 these two string variables have how many space will be incorporated so if we suppose leave five spaces here then while printing between easy and e2c there will be five spaces so this is how we can manage printing a string that has space in between now come to the other formats of printing that we have learned just now so in this example in the first example we have used 12s so that is the complete length because that is the size that we mentioned while declaring that string and by default it will be right justified now come to the second format where we are mentioning only percent s so here we are mentioning the length as one is so the length that we are mentioning here is less than the actual length so what we have learned is then it will print the whole string but it will be by default left justified so that's what it has been printed here tom and the whole string tom space and then jerry but it is left justified now come to the next format where we have used percent 5s means the width that we are mentioning here is still less than the size of that string constant so it will print the whole string and again it will be left justified so that's how it has been printed now come to the next format where 12.4 so what we have learned that if we if we are mentioning decimal point in the format specified part so after decimal point whatever value the digit that we have that decides that specifies that how many characters will be printed so since we have four after decimal point that means it will print only four characters but apparently it looks like it has printed three characters but it is not because after tom we have a space so it has considered that space as the fourth character and actually it has printed tom along with that space now come to the next uh, formats where we have 12.4 again but before that we have a negative sign so as i said if we are not mentioning any sign by default it will take as positive and that will print right justified and if we are mentioning negative sign then as i said it will print left justified then come to the next format where we have again no signs so here we don't have any sign so by default it will be taken as positive and it is supposed to print right justified 12 is the total column width and then after decimal point we have zero so zero means we are actually printing zero characters so it will print nothing and that's why in this line we have a total blank line so it has not printed anything because of this format and then we have point 0.8 so before point we have not mentioned any value and after point it is 8 so it will print only first 8 characters of that string constant so tom and then space it is 4 and then till before y it will be total 8 characters so j e r r so that's how it has been printed so from t to last r the total width of that string is uh, 8 so it has printed total 8 characters uh, including the space in between
So that's how we read a string from the terminal and we write a string to the terminal. I hope this class was helpful for you. With that hope, I end today's class. Thank you.